great thing about the tech industry is that there's so much disruption and innovation. Unfortunately, there isn't a ton of that happening on the communications end of things. And I am just as, as hilty uh, as the next marketer as he faulting to the tried and true trap. As you can tell, I have a speech impediment. I stutter. Stuttering has made a lot of choices for me in my life. I chose to be a writer because I was more comfortable with the written word than the spoken one. I chose to be a freelancer because my anxiety about my speech made it hard for me to even say my name. And I chose far too often to be silent when I knew I could have added value to the conversation. As a communications consultant, I have two jobs. I help teams better communicate with each other, and I help companies better communicate with their target audience. As a result of that, I have learned a thing or two about what companies think they have to do in order to get eyes on their product. They talk about social impact and hashtags, SEO, PR campaigns, Facebook and Twitter, and of course, branding. But the problem with using that word is that companies are truly afraid to be themselves, flaws and all. And if you think about it, you've probably done the same thing at your own company. When was the last time that you looked at a marketing strategy and crossed something off because you weren't good at it or because it was a weakness. It probably happens a lot more often than you think. And it makes sense, especially if you're in an early stage company and you have even less money than you do have time. You stick with what you know and you stick with what you you can ex excel at. But today, I want you to try a different path. I want to challenge you to abandon your strengths and embrace your weaknesses, both personally and professionally. So often, weakness and doubt are considered n -n 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 negatives. They go hand in hand. But those aren't n -n 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 necessarily bad things. The Italian intellectual Eugenio Calorni believes that doubt is creative because it allows for alternative ways to see the world. What would happen if you applied that to your company's brand? When Forbes ranks their 100 most trans trustworthy, I'm sorry, 
companies, they focus on three things. Consistency, transparency, and for better or worse, how informative the company is. How informative is your company? And in terms of your own personal brand, how informative are you? I love to read. And one of my favorite authors is Haruki Murakami. And he actually uses a form of weakness in his writing. Uh, reporter Nathaniel Rich of the Atlantic wrote that there isn't another great writer who uses as many bad sentences as Mirakami does. And if you've read any of his books, then you know exactly what he's talking about. His writing is compelling because of this storytelling. His plots take us from reality to the supernatural uncomfortably quickly. It's bizarre. It's disjointed. Oftentimes, it's either incredibly long-winded or incredibly choppy. But somehow, it works. He has m -m 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 marketed himself by using poor sentences to his advantage. And now he's one of the great authors of our time. And that's actually a really good tip. Stand out by being unequal. Equivocally and imperfectly who you are. Always remember that sometimes your greatest vulnerability can also be your greatest asset. Kevin Plank from Under Armour understands this well. The first rule in his formula for Innovation design is to do one thing extremely well. And that's what he did. For the first five years, Under Armour only offered a single product. And it was their compression shirt. For me, in my own business, it was writing in all forms, from editorial to business to digital marketing, and and now in the communications consulting realm. And I did this because this built credibility. And once you've got that under your belt, you can grow from there. For you and your own company, it could be picking one or two marketing strategies mastering flows, and then disrupting and innovating from there. My disruption was speaking. 
I started speaking about a year and a half ago as a way to break out of my shell. I was pretty terrified to just talk to people one on one. Let alone in front of a large group like this one. And once I put myself out there, my biggest fear and my biggest vulnerability, I realized that I was connecting with people in a very real way. It's a lot easier to connect with your target audience when they know that you are flawed too. Author and researcher Bren Brown said it best. Vulnerability is actually the act of courage to sh show up and be seen. She made the point that we feel the most vulnerable when we are doing something courageous, like starting a business or mm, Ooh, sorry, or owning up to something that we've done wrong at work. The single biggest act of courage that I've ever attempted is the thing I'm doing right now. Standing here in front of you and and showing you my greatest vulnerability. My speech. So once I accepted my insecurity, shared it without shame, and opened myself up to criticism, I found that people didn't j j j j j j judge me. They embraced me. They w w w wanted to learn a little bit more about me. And surprisingly, they wanted to sh 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 share their own stories of struggle, their insecurities, and their vulnerabilities with me. And I'm only one person. Imagine what would happen if, imagine what would happen on, on your team if you took that approach when communicating with each other. And imagine what would happen if your company as a collective took that approach when, when sharing your message with the world. So what's your disruption? What scares you, worries you, challenges you to the point of fear? That is your sweet spot. That is what's going to capture your tar target audience and make you compelling. A lot of people are going to tell you that you have to be the strongest communicator in order to succeed, the best orator to tell your story, and the most articulate to move the masses. 
But the truth is, sometimes all you have to do is be the most transparent one. Thank you.